Mm-hmm. Hello, welcome back to Sunday School and Talk. We're going to have another primary lesson. And to begin with, we will have an opening prayer. Then we'll have an opening hymn. Choose the right from the hymn number 239. And this will be our lesson. So this is Deborah leading the Israelite to win a battle. So here, we can learn this in the book of Judges chapter 2 to 4 and chapter 6 to 8 and chapter 13 to 16. The Lord raised up a deliverer. When the Israelites had been wicked, a righteous woman named Deborah and the commander of the Israelite army, Barak, delivered Israel from their enemies. So every time we, when Israel uh, being wicked, they were in bandage. And every time they were in bandage, that's the time they will remember God. And that, uh, and that's the time they will repent and seek his guidance. So uh, during the time, uh, there's a woman named Deborah, the prophetess. And she's the one who lead them for victory. And Deborah said unto Barak, uh, for this is the day in which the Lord had delivered Sisera into thine hand. Is not the Lord gone out before thee? So Barak went down from Mount Tabor and 10,000 men after him. Okay, let's go through to the story. So this is Deborah and I said, um, ca- uh, came to her and asked for her guidance because they were in Canaanites and they were in bandage. So in order for them to be free again from bandage, uh, they seek God's guidance. And it was Deborah at that time who is a prophetess and who know the way of God and who seek God's guidance and mercy and protection. So Barak was the leader of the army and he did not want to fight, but he thought that if Deborah went with the army, the Lord would protect them. Deborah agreed to go. She prophesied, prophesied that a woman would defeat Sisera, the leader of the Canaanites. So there will be a woman who will defeat Sisera. So let's see if this prophecy will come true. So the Israelite army gathered on a mountain and the Canaanites gathered in the valley. Deborah told Barak to go down from the mountain. She, she promised that the Lord would be with them. So we can see here that um, according to the prophecy and also God was with them, the Lord sent rain and the Canaanites chariots were swept away in the water. Many Canaanites were drowned in the, in the river, but Sisera ran away. A woman named Jael lived in a tent nearby. She saw Sisera running and told him to hide in her tent. Jael knew that he was a leader of the Canaanite army and told him so that he couldn't hurt more people. So we can see here that uh, through Deborah prophecy, it came true and they were being delivered again and they have victory over that battle. So we can see again that uh, once the people seek God's guidance, mercy and protection, uh, God will be with them. Jesus Christ is my Savior. So every time they pray to the Lord, so God will call someone to deliver them. So this time it was a woman named Deborah. So when the Israelites stopped keeping God's commandment, he lost his protection and were defeated by their enemies. So every time God's people will forget him, so he will lose, they will lose their uh, God's protection and they were being defeated. So only through God, they can win victory and have his protection. So here in Judges chapter 3, verse 9, And when the children of Israel cried unto the Lord, the Lord raised up a deliverer to the children of Israel who delivered them, even Othniel, the, the son of Kenan's Caleb's younger brother. So remember that when we seek God's guidance, he will give us someone to lead us for victory. And he will give us the strength and the guidance. So Judges chapter 6, verse 11 to 16, and chapter 7 to uh, verses 1 to 8, the Lord can use small things to do great work. So sometimes he will choose someone that is uh, have a very small reputation or simple and who look themselves that are not quite influencer, but God will be... Uh, God will show them that it is it is his power and his guidance that will give us deliverer and protection and victory. Peace to you, do not fear, you shall not die. So this is God's promise to him that he will protect him. Gideon considered himself poor and insignificant, but God saw him as a mighty man of valor. So let us help the children see that even if they feel small, God can work through them to do important things. 
So we can read that in Alma chapter 37, verse 6 to, se- uh, 6 to 7, or Judges chapter 6 to 12, how God chooses people that are, are simple or very small, or um, we see that they don't, they will have no, in- they are not significant enough to be a leader or to do great things, but God chooses them because He will show them, show the people that. It is his power and not by the by the way of men or the intelligent of men, but it is his knowledge and his power. So here in verse uh, chapter 37, verse 6 to 7 of Alma from the Book of Mormon. Now you may suppose that this is foolishness in me, but behold, I say unto you that by small and simple things are great things brought to pass, and small means in many instances that confound the wise, and the Lord God that work by means to bring about his great and eternal purposes. And by very small means, the Lord that confound the wise and, the, and bring it about the salvation of many souls. So some, most of the time we can read in the in the scripture, especially in the Bible or even the Book of Mormon, God will choose someone that is young, tender, and simple, and weak, and God give them the knowledge and power and protection. So like in the story of David, David and Goliath. So David is a lad and very small, while Goliath is very strong and a giant. But because God's protection and his guidance, he was able to defeat the giant named Goliath. So here in Judges chapter 6, verse 15, And he said unto him, O my Lord, wherewith shall I shall I save Israel? Behold, my family is poor in Manasseh, and I am the least in my father's house. So he thinks himself, himself, he don't think himself that he's very un, uh, unpopular, not strong. He has very, uh, he's good. the family is very poor, and who would listen, so, uh, who would listen to him? Even um, the Israel will not think that he will be a great leader or someone to the, that he would pay attention when when he will speak to them because uh, according to what Gideon said here he is poor and has very small reputation so here in Judges chapter 6 verse 16 and the Lord said unto him surely I will be with thee and thou shalt smite the Midianites as one man so when God assured him he gained strength and courage to go with the Israelites their leader and to give them the uh, instruction on how to defeat their enemies or the Canaanites. So here, how the Lord made Israel army smaller so the Israelites would know that his power has saved them from their enemies. Share the example of small things that do great works as bees as be scattering nectar to make honey. Bear your testimony that God can help us do a great work even when we feel small. So like the example here that Small bees are very small, but they can also uh, give a very good contribution because they are very busy and industrious um, uh, and sick that we can be a very good uh, example for us that when we work hard and we trust God, we will can, uh, we can actually do many great things with him. So God showed him, uh, God showed them his power. So tonight have 135,000 soldiers. Even though Israel had only 32,000 soldiers, the Lord asked Gideon to send home any soldier who were scared. So God asked him to send home those soldiers who were scared. So after that, so there were 20,000 went home and there only left 10,000 soldiers. So the Lord said 10,000 was still too many soldiers. He told Gideon John to take army down to the water. Those who drank straight from the water with their mouths would be sent home. Those who used their hand to drink the water could stay. Now only 300 men were left. So how can they defeat 100, uh, 135,000 soldiers? So let us continue the story. At last, the Israelites were ready to fight. The Lord showed Gideon how to defeat the Midianites. Gideon told the, his army to use trumpet and lamps to scare them. The noise and the lights confused the Midianites so much that they started to fight each other. Then they cried out and ran away. 
So with this technique and God's guidance, they were able to defeat the Midianites with 300 soldiers. Because God, uh, because Gideon trusted the Lord, the Israelites beat the large Midianite army with only 300 soldiers. The Lord freed the people of Israelites. So see how God is powerful and God's guidance can help us to defeat our enemies. It's uh, like um, what happened during the time of Gideon here. So Judges chapter 4, verse 1 to 15, I can be faithful to the Lord even if others are not. So let us be faithful in God because He has the power to uh, lead us in every battle. And although many of the Israelites fell away from the Lord, some remained true to Him and were able to help many others return to righteousness. How can you encourage the children to stay true to the Lord no matter what others are doing? So let us help them remember the story here and some wonderful story we can read in our Bible so that we will gain the strength to continue to be faithful and true to our God. So let us read also here in the Doctrine Covenant section 84 verse 88. And also receive it you. There I will be also, for I will go on, I will go before your face, I will be on your right hand and on your left, and my spirit shall be in your hearts, and my angel shall run about you to bear you out. So this is God's promise when we do or follow his commandments, that he will be with us and he will give us the protection that we need. And whoever receives us, he will uh and those people also receive him. So this is also a wonderful passage that we can share when we serve God in a mission as a full-time missionary. So whenever we go and when whoever receives those missionaries also accept God in their homes and accept his words and his gospel. So this lesson is very wonderful again that we can learn about how we can seek God's protections and how we can win. So we can do many things or many great things with God's help. So I know the things I have shared are true and I would like to leave that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So thank you for all your support to this channel, Sunday School and Talk. So continue to subscribe, like, share, and comment, and hit the bell so that you will be notified to my next coming videos. And here are ways to support more this channel. You can have, we can have, uh, you can send uh, your support by super thanks, super chat, super stickers, and thank you for your love and support, and see you to my next video. God bless, and bye-bye for now.